Good Friday evening. It is day 21 of the partial government shutdown, and today more than 800,000 government workers did not get a paycheck. Local labor leaders estimate there are just about 4,000 federal workers here in Pima County. News 4 Tucson's Sam Salzway will talk to some of them about how they're handling this payday without pay. The local labor leaders are hoping to reach out to all federal employees, not just union members, during this hard time. I'm Vincent Miller and I work as a telephone interviewer for the U.S. Census Bureau. This room is full of federal employees who want to know what help might be available if this partial government shutdown continues. Put the government back together to, to get us to work for the American people, then you figure out what you want to do with this wall. Don't put us in the middle of it. That's what makes me the most angry. For many of them, it's not their first shut down. Federal employees have, have been subjected to uh, uh, it seems like year in and year out. So kind of put some money away to prepare for this, but who knows how long this one is going to to last. On Friday, Paul Stapleton Smith with the Pima Area Labor Federation helped organize this town hall for federal workers. It included help from local congressional offices and even the food bank. It's the gamut, it's the spectrum, it's everything that you would need uh, conceivably in these circumstances that we're attempting to provide. Some of these employees have just been told to go back to work even though they're not guaranteed an immediate paycheck. Despite his frustration, Miller says he's not considering calling in sick. I would never do something like that. I would never do that. My job is for the American people. President Trump has said he's ready to cancel events that are weeks away if he can't reach a deal. In Midtown, Sam Salzweidel, News 4 Tucson.